in this video I'm going to work the simple machine problem uh, for the pulley. I'm going to actually do probably about two or three problems. Um, so this is just the first video of them. Uh, it says how much force must you exert to lift the 100 kilogram block shown below. Now we've got to get this into force because this is a mass. All right, it's 100 kilograms. I don't know if you remember from earlier, but 100 kilograms, uh, to get it into force, you would say weight equals mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Right? You have to have mass in kilograms because a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So our mass has to be in kilograms, our gravity has to be in meters per second squared. So that means then that our weight is 100 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. So multiply that together and it's 981 newtons. Okay, so in this problem, it wants to know how much force you have to exert to pull up this 100 kilogram or 981 newton box. Okay, so just like in the PowerPoint where I talked about uh, if you have two strands holding up this one box, the weight is um, divided between it. So instead of 981 newtons, this box um, is going to be that weight's going to be spread out between the two. So I'm just going to divide it by two. So I'm going to say 981 divided by two equals 490.5 newtons. Okay, so that's the first part of it. Now the second part says this person needs to lift the block five feet. How much rope will he have to pull up to accomplish this task? I could plug everything in or I could just think about it. In the PowerPoint, I told you about how uh, if these two um, is supporting one, then when this box goes up five foot, that means this side goes up five foot and this side also goes up five foot. So that rope, you would have to end up pulling 10 feet for this to go up five foot. Right, because you're going to be subtracting 5 on this side and this side. Uh, so my answer for part B would be 10 feet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and then work the second problem um, on a new video.